Hi, it's Ed from the Wanderer's Guide again, back with another hot tip for hikers. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to find the Birthing Cave, one of the most popular social hikes in Sedona. The hike is rated as easy, though there is just a little bit of route finding and a short but fairly steep climb at the end. I don't think of the route finding here as particularly difficult. However, I have routinely run into people on the Long Canyon Trail who missed the turn and gotten lost while looking for the birthing cave. It's almost exactly two miles out and back from the nearest parking area, with an elevation gain of approximately 270 feet, allow about 45 minutes of hike time. The best light for photography is usually in the afternoon, but you can capture a pretty good photo here almost any time of day. Mountain bikes, drones, and pets are allowed in this area. However, pets must be leashed at all times in the Coconino National Forest. Please pick up any pet waste and pack it out. Also, please do not take your pet to archaeological sites. The trailhead is located approximately three miles from West Sedona near the Seven Canyons Resort. You can park either in the small dirt parking lot on the left side of Long Canyon Road, which is still free of charge as of 2023, or you can park back along the roadside. From the parking area, take the Long Canyon Trail heading northwest. This trail starts out along an old Jeep road, so it's wide and easy to follow. It skirts around the golf course at the Seven Canyons Resort before entering the Red Rock Secret Mountain Wilderness area, but you'll be turning off onto a social trail before you reach the wilderness boundary. Approximately one half mile from the parking area, look for a really old wooden fence that dates back to the days when the golf course was a working ranch. It's located at the GPS coordinates shown on the screen and provided in the text below. When you find the fence, there's a social trail that breaks to the left, which we've shown here in blue. From here, it's approximately one half mile farther to the birthing cave. Simply follow the social trail, branching right slightly at the end, to climb toward a large alcove. Again, GPS coordinates for the birthing cave are shown on the screen. There are two photos most people come here seeking to capture. The first is at the very back of the alcove, where there is a seasonal spring that drips intermittently. The second photo uses the exterior of the cave to frame the distant view of Thunder Mountain and often includes a human subject on the left side of the frame. Be aware that footing inside the cave is really treacherous, so exercise extreme caution if you plan on attempting either of these photos. At this point, you might be wondering, could this hike possibly get any better? And the answer is, absolutely. That's because there are numerous cliff dwellings and photogenic viewpoints that you could add to extend this hike and make it a bit more challenging. They include the Mescal Mesa Ruins, the Patio, Altar Cave, Coco Pelli's Cave, the Ice Cream Ruins, and Ladder Village. Any of these would be a worthy destination all on its own, but added to the Birthing Cave is sure to make for a day that you'll never forget. To get the GPS tracks for these and all the other hidden secrets in Red Rock Country, be sure to download the Wanderer's Guide to Hiking Sedona. Written specifically with photographers in mind, this is the most comprehensive guidebook available to the scenic wonders of the Verde Valley. Be sure to enter promo code BIRTHINGCAVE at checkout to receive a 10% discount. 